Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to continue with how to open a secret wall. And this time around, we're going to do it based on the number of points the player has. So right now, my player has zero points, and I can't make it through this wall here. But if the player earns a certain number of points, which I set it at 100, now they can walk through the wall. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. For this project, there's a couple different things we have to set up first. And the first thing we're going to look at is the leaderboard script. So that's a script that needs to go under the server script service. And we can go and open that to take a look. The only part of the script that you really have to worry about changing if you want to is this section right here. And this will be the name of whatever currency or point system that you want to set up. So in my case, I called it gold. But if you want to change it to something else, just change it here. And then you also want to update the variable names here and then in these three spots as well. And that's all there really is for the leader script part, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. Okay, so if you didn't watch the other secret wall video, the way we set up the wall was in three different sections. The middle section, we renamed that part to wall, and we also made sure that it was anchored and that there was no welds on it. The other part we're gonna add is an invisible part that sits in front of the wall, and this is the part we're gonna use to check to see if the player has enough points or not. So what you can do for this is just add a part into the game. And then you just want to stretch it out to the size of the wall. And then you just want to make it really thin so it's not noticeable. And then after that, you just want to turn it invisible. So under its properties, you're going to look for transparency and set that equal to 1. After that, you'll have that invisible part that sits in front. And whenever the player touches this part, we can write a script that checks to see if they have enough points or not. I renamed this part to point check so that I can keep track of it over in the explorer menu, but the name of it doesn't really matter. Let me go ahead and open up the script for this so we can take a look. Okay, so at the top here, what we're doing first is making a reference for that part. Then we're making a reference for the middle part of the wall, which is this section right here. After that, we're making a variable called can open. Inside of our function here, we're taking in the parameter other part and we're going to be using that parameter to find the player that it belongs to. Next, we're checking to see if that player model has a humanoid part. If it does have a humanoid part and can open is true, then what we're going to do is we're going to take the player's name and find them under game.players. And after that, we're going to check the player's current gold level. And if you change the name of your currency or point system, you'd have to update this line here. Next, what we're saying is if it was able to find a player and that player's gold was greater than 100, then we're going to make the wall invisible and also turn can collide off. So what this is going to do is going to make the wall invisible and also make it where the player can walk through it. After that, we're saying part.touched connect to say that whenever this part right here, this invisible part is touched, it's going to run the function and do the stuff that we put inside of it. So in this video, I'm kind of assuming that you already have a system for collecting or gathering points or whatever your currency system is. But if you don't, I have a couple videos on coin collection and I'll link those in the description so you can take a look. So one more thing you can do with this before we end with this video. So the way I have it set up right now, it checks to see if the player has a certain number of points, but it doesn't actually do anything with those points like subtracting them or something like that. If you want to have it where the player has to purchase this wall open, then what you can add to the script is player.leaderstats dot gold dot value and this is going to be equal to and we can just copy this first part again and this is where we're going to subtract the purchase amount so in this case let's just subtract 100 okay and before we run the code there's one more thing that I forgot to add so right down here what we're going to add is we're going to say can open is equal to false now let's go ahead and run the code and check it out. Let me go ahead and start by collecting some gold. Okay, now as I get close to the wall, it should open up the middle section and also subtract 100 from my gold over here. Let's go ahead and try it out and see if it works. Okay, so it seems like it worked. It opened up the wall and it also subtracted 100 from my gold. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stop here for this video. If you want some other ways to open up this wall, we talk about some more ways to do that in the first video. Also, if you want to take a look at the coin collection scripts, those are going to be down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for the next one.